This is a surprise, Mike, is it? It's definitely a surprise. Clarida was expected to leave the Fed on January 31st when his term runs out as a governor and as vice chair, but decided to resign early. It appears likely that his decision comes from the new reporting on trading that he did as a member of the Fed, trading in stocks. Uh, he sold a lot of stocks on the day before the Fed announced many of its rescue programs back in 2020 mm -hmm. and then bought them back. Uh, and uh, gives the appearance, even though nothing's ever been shown of impropriety, but gives that appearance. And uh, he originally did not put that in his financial statement, but at the end of the year amended that, and that was reported. And it does look like that he is now joining Robert Kaplan, the former Dallas Fed chairman, and Eric Rosengren, the former Boston Fed president, in resigning because of this uh, trading scandal. His resignation letter does not mention a reason. Uh, he talks about his no. pride in uh, working for the Fed, but uh, one would assume that that is probably behind his decision to go two weeks early. So maybe appeasing some detractors there. Meanwhile, though, Chair Jerome Powell sort of coming out in support of his legacy, saying that Rich's contributions to our monetary policy deliberations and his leadership, while they will leave a lasting impact in the field of central banking. Mike, what, what legacy do you think Rich Clarida will leave? Uh, well, Clarida did a lot to help set up the new uh, the, the new uh, reaction function the Fed has of letting things run hot and uh, letting the inflation rate rise above 2 percent to try to bring down the uh, unemployment rate. He also did a lot of uh, economic modeling for the Fed in terms of uh, their responses to the crisis. But uh, with Jay Powell going up to Capitol Hill tomorrow for his uh, confirmation hearing, for his reappointment as chairman, this may also be seen as an effort by Clara to take some of the heat off of Powell. You can imagine that uh, people like Elizabeth Warren might have made a big deal out of the fact that Clarida was still on the board. And uh, Warren already today had said she was demanding that the Fed release information about Clarida's trading situation. So it may be that Clarida has uh, sacrificed himself a little early to help Jay Powell out. All right, we're talking with Bloomberg's Michael McKee. Again, the headline of this hour, Federal Reserve Vice Chair Rich Clarida intends to resign from the Board of Governors. That will happen on January 14th. This is two weeks before his term term is due to expire. Hey, Mike, what does it mean for the discussions in and around the Federal Reserve, catching Jay Powell's ear about policy? How could this change the, con the, the conversation, if you will, at the Fed? It probably doesn't change the conversation a lot because everybody is, um, at this point, pretty much uh, made their feelings known about what they should do. But the issue for uh, the Fed is going to be they're going to be extremely shorthanded because we have already seen Randall Quarles leave. They were already down one Fed governor. And so at this point now they're off by three. And the president has been saying any day now he was going to appoint uh, p potential successors, but has not done so. This may ramp up the pressure on Joe Biden to act. Hey, Mike, I want to go back to the confirmation hearing the Senate Banking Committee is holding tomorrow for a Fed Chair Jerome Powell and his reappointment. You mentioned uh, that this could take some heat off tomorrow. Uh, do you still, though, expect some questions around allegations here? And do you expect uh, some, still uh, some questions around that to Fed Chair Powell tomorrow? No doubt we'll get that, especially from Elizabeth Warren, who's a member of the Banking Committee. She's been very critical of the Fed and its rules for trading and of Jay Powell for letting this happen, essentially. And so she's made it clear she's going to put some heat on him. She's already said she would oppose his nomination for chairman. Um, as long as he gets some Republican support, he should be okay in being uh, confirmed for a second term. But it isn't going to be an easy day for him tomorrow.